If you want to be a better shooter, you're gonna have to put in time in the lab. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But when we do lab it up, we have got to have a game plan so that we ain't out here wasting precious time. That's why in this video, I'm gonna go over my daily shooting routine to help you to become a better shooter in NBA 2K23. In just 10 minutes a day, you can transform your whole game. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. First things first, you're gonna wanna grab your ball and set up in either corner as we're gonna be playing a game of Around the World. And if you're not familiar with Around the World, then just watch on screen as I'll be demonstrating this and all the rest of the drills that we go over on this list in this video. But all you're pretty much gonna wanna do is take or make five shots from the corner, the wing, the top of the key, and then move on to the other wing and corner. Now, when we are practicing this and all drills, it's obviously going to be time dependent, but what we wanna do is take at least five shots from each spot before moving on to the next one. However, if you do have a bit more time, then I would suggest not moving on to the next spot until you have made at least five shots. And if you're really trying to master your jumper or become a demon with it, then don't move on to the next spot until you've hit five shots in a row from your current spot. Or if you're truly trying to get dangerous with your jumper, you could try and go all the way around the world without missing a single shot, but that could get time consuming. So I wouldn't advise it unless you already got your jumper down and you're really, really, really trying to become a demon with it. But whichever method you do decide to go with, you're gonna wanna do it for all the rest of the drills that we go over as well. So if you do decide to be on some type of demon time and wanna start over the whole session, if you miss one shot, I respect it. Once we're done with our 25 shots around the world, it's time to move on to our agent three shots. And we're gonna be taking five shots from each wing. As you can see on screen, all we're really gonna be wanting to do is just hit one escape dribble move and shoot. So for me, I have Kevin Durant's escape dribble package equipped in this video. So I'm gonna hit that monster cross to the side and just shoot off of it. And then the same thing with the step back. And I can't echo this enough, but make sure you're actually looking at your player. We are out here trying to find our jump shot release cue and master it while we're in here. Now, the main reason why I like to practice these types of shots is because in game, most folks use these types of moves to initiate a speed boost and rim run. So to counter it, most defenders will instinctively take a step back in anticipation of the rim run, obviously. But now with all this practice, we have another tool in our belt from which to attack the opponent with. So we don't have to be like all those bots that just step back rim run. And honestly, once the opponent see that you're shooting it off of the step back or the Kevin Durant monster cross, it's gonna force them to have to step up and play it, which is gonna naturally open up the rim run for you. I swear y'all, there's a method to my madness, just stay with me. Also, another reason why I like to practice these types of shots, especially the step back into the shot, is because it's such a kill move. Especially with that big step back that you get off of the KD or Braun dribble package, it almost forces your mans. No, it does force your mans to either give up the three or the drive. And you know what time it is if they don't step up. That's why we gotta learn to make them pay. The next drill we're gonna go over is a moving shot drill. And all we're gonna wanna do is hit a crossover, go a few steps, and then go right up with the shot. Now, it doesn't have to be a crossover. It could be any dribble move, honestly. And really, you should be using this time to work on learning how to speed boost out of your different moves. So maybe the first time up, you do a cross into a shot. Then next time up, you do a between the legs into the shot. Third time around, behind the back. But what we're trying to do here, obviously, is learn our moving jump shot, but also learning how to speed boost out of our different dribble moves. And while we're here, make sure that we're working both sides. So ideally, we're gonna wanna speed boost to the left, shoot, reset, and then do the same thing from the other way. Also, try to expel some stamina so that you can work on learning your moving shot on lower stamina levels as well. The next drill is going to be alternating moving and standstill shots. At this point in the practice session, you probably have down the muscle memory for either the moving shot because we just finished taking them or the standstill shot because we took so many of them earlier. But muscle memory is not the name of the game here. Remember, the goal of this practice session is to master our jump shots cue, not build muscle memory. So just to ensure that we're using cues and watching our player, as opposed to just timing it off of muscle memory, I like to go back and forth, alternating between the two different types of shots. You know, just to ensure that we're good money from the standstill or on the move. So like you see on screen, what we're gonna wanna do is take a moving shot, just like in the last drill, 
cross into a speed boost and shoot and then we're gonna hit a standstill shot if you want you could just shoot it from where you're standing at where you pick the ball up or take it back out to the three-point line it's up to you but what we are looking for is five shots each and again i do this drill to hammer home finding and mastering that good old jump shot cue and if this is your first time here our channel is dedicated to nba 2k and helping the community to improve on their stick skills and iq and have a good time doing so so if this sounds like you make sure and sub up you already know luck got you but getting back into this list next up it's time for us to work on them low stamina shots this is especially effective if you're a primary ball handler or someone who creates their own shot because you're gonna find that it's rare that you're shooting with full stamina. So again, we need to lab it up for when we find ourselves in said position. All we're really gonna wanna do is run around a bit, dribble it up so your stamina is not full and then just shoot it. Of course, if you want to be a real demon, take your stamina down to flashing or all the way down to empty and practice hitting those shots. Just remember, what we are looking for here ideally is five made low stamina shots. But again, it's all dependent on the amount of time we have. If you're labbing it up on a time budget, then just getting up five low stamina shots will do. But just make sure you hit at least one of them suckers before moving on. And then the next drill on the list is going to be a wild card category where after you practice all the essential shots, then it's time for us to get freaky with it and work on whatever part of our game it is that we feel needs a little extra love and attention. For me, I'm trying to get my MJ Kobe on and straight disrespect my ops with the post fade. So I've been working on that in my wild card time, but it may be different for you. Maybe you're trying to be the next chef with it and you want to get your limitless range squared away and practice those. But whatever you do, when you do step on the virtual court, you had better not be taking no shot that you haven't labbed up multiple times beforehand. There's absolutely no reason or excuse for it. But for the next time we speak, all line up across from each other on them virtual courts, luck out. Peace.